Hi, I'm Kim Dare. I'm one of the librarians at Herndon High School, and I am here today to talk about All American Boys, which is a ripped from the headlines kind of story by Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley. Um, this is the story of two high school guys, Rashad and Quinn. And Rashad and Quinn really don't know each other that well. Um, they, they're at the same school. They have seen each other around. Rashad is just a good guy. He's a member of the ROTC, um, smart, has a lot of plans for the future. He is uh, coming home from high school one day and decides to stop at Jerry's Corner Market because he wants to grab some chips and a pack of gum. And he goes in there and it's pretty quiet. There's a cashier, uh, there's a police officer, there's a lady who's over at the cooler looking for whatever kind of beer she wants to take home. And he looks around for a bit, he finds the kinds of chips that he wants. Um, and then he remembers that he left his stuff in his ROTC uniform. So he kneels down, he opens up his duffel bag to go through his ROTC uniform. And at that moment, the lady who was, who's at the cooler backs up and doesn't see him and trips over him. And she kind of yells out when she trips because she's startled. And the cashier looks up and the police officer looks up and they see Rashad kneeling there with his duffel bag open and they think that he's trying to steal something. And so the police officer comes over and grabs him and Rashad's trying to explain that he really is not trying to steal something. Um, the lady's trying to explain that it was all her fault. And the police officer is getting more and more irate at Rashad for arguing and Rashad's trying to reach into his wallet, you know, or reach into his pocket and show that he has money. And the police officer thinks that he's trying to pull something out and that he's resisting arrest. So he puts him in a restraint hold and he shoves him through the front door and slams him down on the sidewalk face down. Meanwhile, Quinn is on that street. He's hanging out waiting for his friends and he sees the door burst open all of a sudden and the police officer pushing this guy down on the sidewalk. And um, Quinn realizes that he knows the police officer. The police officer is actually the older brother of his good friend Guzzo, who goes to the, their high school. And the police officer, whose name is Paul, has kind of raised Quinn or, or taken a kind of father or uncle role in his life since Quinn's own dad was killed in Afghanistan. Um, Quinn looks and makes sure that Paul's doing okay, you know, because he's really worried about Paul at first not knowing what's going on. And then he, the more he looks, the more he realizes that Rashad really isn't fighting back. And it seems like Paul is really using some undue force. Um, and this, this really troubles Quinn. Another police a car pulls up at that point, kind of tears around the corner. Quinn realizes he really doesn't want to be there and get involved. So he takes off and goes to hunt down his friends. Uh, someone who is there does take a video of what's going on and the video goes viral and very quickly this community becomes very divided over who was in the right. There are a lot of people who say Rashad did absolutely nothing wrong. Um, there are a lot of people who are standing up for Paul and saying that Paul must have felt threatened somehow in, you know, to do this. And meanwhile, you've got Quinn in the middle here who hasn't said anything, but really feels his um, loyalties being torn because he has always looked up to Paul and um, doesn't want to see Paul as a, as a bad guy in all of this. Uh, the story obviously has a lot of parallels to what's going on in our society right now. And it's interesting the way that Jason Reynolds and Brendan Keeley came to write this. Um, back in 2013, they were on an author tour. They had the same publisher. And so they were touring as part of a larger group of authors and they were sharing a hotel room. So they're sharing this hotel room and the story breaks that George Zimmerman um, has been acquitted of the murder of Trayvon Martin. And Jason Reynolds remembers thinking at that point, you know, he's, he's angry, he's upset, he's confused and he's thinking to himself, I'm on the road with a white guy. And uh, he and Brendan Keeley get to talking and he quickly realizes that Brendan Keeley is just as angry and upset and confused as he is. Um, and over time they become very good friends. Fast forward to August of 2014 uh, with the whole Michael Brown Ferguson incident. And soon after that happened, 
Brendan Keeley approached Jason Reynolds and said, um, you know, I, I can't take this anymore. This is ridiculous. What can we do? Would you be willing to write a book with me? Um, and they talked about it, and that's how All American Boys was born, with Jason Reynolds um, taking the voice of Rashad and Brendan Keeley taking the voice of Quinn, and the story being told in alternating voices. Um, it is, it's just a wonderful story. Sometimes when you have two authors, uh, two really good authors, who try to work together, um, the end result isn't always wonderful. In this case, it is. It's um, excellent storytelling, um, great for reluctant readers, great for people who love to read, just great to start classroom conversations on a very timely topic. Just a, a, a wonderful story. Um, if you read this or your kids read this and you think to yourself, I must read everything else by these authors, um, you're in luck. I don't have a copy of Brendan Keeley's The Gospel of Winter, which came out in 2014, but it did end up on all sorts of best of lists. I do have copies of Jason Reynolds' other books. When I Was the Greatest uh, came out in 2014. It won the Coretta Scott King John Steptoe New Talent Award uh, at the um, Youth Media Awards in 2015. And then The Boy in the Black Suit was published this last year, and it just won a Coretta Scott King honor at this year's Youth Media Awards.